Hello there. My name is Cedric Watson. This is Desiree Champagne and Aaron Boudreau. We're all together at Bijou Creole, and we're very happy to be here in Bogota, Colombia, for the Blues Festival. It's a great honor, and we'd like to say, Bonjour, Bonjour Bogota. Bogota. Music, Zarico, the word comes from a French expression. Um, they would say, les zaricos sont pas salés. That means the snap beans are not salty. And that's the way you say that things ain't going so well in life, you know, because you didn't have money, you couldn't buy salt. The origins of Zarico music comes from the uh, Creole people of color of Louisiana. We come from a very mixed culture um, of French people and Spanish people and Native Americans and lots of African slave influence. And uh, after hundreds of years, um, we have our own culture and our own um, music and our own particular way of uh, life, you know? And uh, the African slaves with the French and the Native Americans made another generation of people who were no longer French. They were no longer um, from Africa, but they were Creole people. And that's where we come from. Whoever's playing it kind of uh, has their own um, style and their own interpretation of the, uh, you know, that history and their that, that kind of genre. So everyone puts their own spin on it. It's real interesting to see the different uh, people coming out, the different Zydeco musicians, hearing what kind of style they have to offer, what kind of spin they want to put on it. It's a different style, and because it has its own unique sound, washboard, accordion, fiddle, and it's a... It's, uh, it's not pop, it's not rock, it's not, it's not none of those styles of music. So because it has its own style, that's why I like it. You know, it's, it's, you hear that it's Zydeco. Once you hear the music, you'll be like, oh, that's Zydeco, you know? And that's something that I love. Some of my biggest influences on accordion music would be uh, most, um, I would say most Latin styles on this side of the world, like merengue typical, um, vallenato, cumbia. My mom likes a lot of cumbia, so I heard that my whole life. I really love about this, uh, what I do the most, is being able to go and travel and go to see other cultures, but especially cultures that relate to us, like even Colombia, <laughs> and be able to share what we do that is similar to what they do and, and, and show how we all ended up on this side of the world for the same reason and our musics are similar, our food is similar, and we're more alike than we are different. So I'm more about the unity of the Creole people.